Let's get ready for a peaceful and restful night's sleep. Good evening, friends. I'm Anne, a holistic health coach and wellness advocate, and this is Veggie Magnifique, your go-to for holistic wellness and healthy vegan lifestyle. And today I'm so excited that you're joining me because I've prepared a dreamy, sleep-inducing practice for you. This is a very gentle practice, and afterward you should feel very relaxed and primed for a wonderful deep night's sleep. So in yoga, we have two personalities what my friend Ben, another yoga teacher, calls the Black Knight and the Panda. So the Black Knight pushes himself really hard because it's just a flesh wound and, you know, overdoes it a bit sometimes. And then the Panda, well, you can kind of guess what the Panda does. The Panda just pandas it out, just totally relaxes, chills out during the practice, surrenders. Tonight, we are pandas. Tonight is panda yoga, getting ready for bed, panda time. So right now, if you're not already in your pajamas and if you haven't brushed your teeth or gotten ready for bed, definitely pause the video and do that now because after the practice, you're going to be ready to just slip into bed. So if you are ready for a gentle nighttime sleepy flow class, let's begin. Come to a comfortable seated position and gently close your eyes. It's the end of the day, so let's gently wash off the day. Take a few deep breaths. Inhale and exhale. One more time, inhale and exhale. Now we're going to start visualizing the day being washed off by a beautiful golden waterfall. Inhale and exhale the day, washing off the day. Take a few more breaths. Exhaling the day away. Visualizing the day being washed off your head and shoulders and body. Gently open your eyes. Let's do some head rolls. Rolling gently to the right and around again in gentle circles. One more time. Switch directions to the left again, warming up the neck, the shoulders, and one more time. Rolling the shoulders up, back, and behind. Warming up the shoulders, the shoulder blades. And switch directions. Behind, up, and around. Releasing the tension. And shake it out. Shake it out, up and down. Do whatever feels good. Now interlace your fingers behind your back, like this. Bring your fist to your left hip. Tilt your head to the side where the fist is. Stretching the opposite side of your body.
Inhale and exhale. And switch sides. Bringing your fists to the opposite hip. And gently tilting your ear toward your shoulder on the side where your fist is. Keep your eyes closed. Your hips are anchored. Inhale and exhale. On the next inhale, release the position. Come to cat cow. Arching up. And exhaling down. Your wrists are under your shoulders. Your knees are under your hips. Warming up the spine. Make sure to pair your breath with each movement. Inhaling up to cow. And exhaling to cat. A few more times. Inhale. And exhale. Rounding the top of the back. Now we're just going to open up the hips, do some little hip circles, get the kinks out, wiggly twiggly. Move however you want to, just to shake off the day, wake up your spine, have a little spine party, twisting back and forth, bringing your shoulder to each hip if you want, sinking back towards your heels if that feels good. Just circle it out. Now walk into your puppy pose. Walking your hands out. And today we're calling this genuflecting panda pose. I like to massage my brow on the mat. You can do so as well if that feels good. If you want to bring your chin up, go ahead. Otherwise, just keep your forehead on the mat. Sinking your chest toward the mat. One more breath here. Breathing in. And exhale, moving into a lunge on the right side. Bring your right hip forward. And if you need to, you can pad the left knee. It feels good, it's evening yoga. Be the panda. Your knees over your ankle, sinking into your low lunge. This is an excellent pose if you spend lots of time sitting or on your computer, which many of us are doing right now, or always. A few more breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One last time before we switch sides. And exhale. So we're going to come to either single pigeon or double pigeon, and I'll show you both. First, single pigeon. Your right foot comes to the left side of your mat. And if you want to come into double pigeon, you bring the opposite leg on top of the right leg. Now this is a difficult, challenging pose here. If this is not a panda pose for you, 
definitely just keep the normal pigeon. But if this feels good for you, and you're a little bit more open in the hips, go ahead and take double pigeon. You can pad the knee, that feels really good if you're not super uber bendy in your hips. Deep breaths and close your eyes. Enjoying the pose, the opening in the hips. Inhale, exhale, keeping integrity in your spine. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Now let's switch sides. Gently come out of the right side. Now if you're in double pigeon, bring the left foot back to pigeon. Switching sides, left foot comes forward toward the left wrist into your low lunge on the other side. Definitely pad your knee for a more plush experience. Balancing out the hips, sinking into the floor. Keeping your eyes closed if you'd like. Enjoying this low lunge. Inhale and exhale. Now let's transition into single pigeon or double pigeon. Left foot inches its way over to the right side of the mat, bringing the hips forward. Now you can stay in single pigeon or bring the left foot forward. Coming into a double pigeon or fire log if you prefer. Definitely bring a pillow if you need it to pad the right knee. Now you can walk your hands forward or just stay seated. Inhale, inhale, and exhale. Make sure you're not holding any tension in your shoulders. You're just breathing. Last breath, inhale and exhale. So slowly transition into forward fold. If you're in single pigeon, just bring the legs in front of you for forward fold. Bringing a pillow to your lap, fix your panda socks. or two pillows. And melting forward. This is very restorative here. This is not an intense pose. This is a relaxing, chilling out pose. We'll be here for a minute or so, sinking into the pose, relaxing your face, breathing through the pose, enjoying this moment that you've carved out for yourself. Nowhere to go, just be here.
gently lifting back up, removing your props, your pillows. And we're going to come into straddle pose. Come into a comfortable straddle here, nothing crazy. Now, you might need to sit on a pillow or a block to make sure that you feel comfortable in this position. You might want to bend your knees a little bit. Do as you see fit. And let's roll out the feet, rotating the ankles. And switch directions. If you have panda socks on, this is even more fun. Now keep your hips anchored to the ground and walk your hands down the left leg. Maybe you want a pillow. Let's pad this up and rest your head on your pillow. Again, this is not meant to be an intense posture. We're relaxing, stretching it out. Resist the temptation of lifting up the opposite hip. Keep the hips square. Feel the stretch through your back, your quads. Inhale and exhale, sinking into the posture. Now slowly walk your way up to change sides. Bring your pillow to the other side. Walking down with the hands. Maybe resting your head on a pillow. Hips are anchored to the ground. And breathe. We'll be here for a few breaths. Inhale. And exhale. Enjoying your practice, enjoying this pose. Getting ready for a lovely, long, deep sleep. Inhale and exhale. Slowly make your way back up. Remove your prop. And gently bring the soles of the feet together for a butterfly pose. Now you can bring your hands, if that feels good for you. Resting your head on your feet, if that's possible for you. Otherwise, a lovely thing you can do is to bring that friendly pillow back, put it on top of your feet, and sink your head into the pillow. That feels even better. If you need to pad your knees on the outside, feel free to do so. Inhale and exhale. Enjoying the softness of the pillow. Enjoying the softness of the pose. On the next inhale, make your way up. Remove your pillow. Now we're going to indulge in some self-care here. We are going to give ourselves a foot massage. So take your thumbs and start massaging those toesies, your feet, your arches, your heels. There are so many meridians in our feet and we walk on them, we jump on them. Some of us wear uncomfortable shoes. We need some love for our feet. Let's massage our own feet, show our feet some love. Massage the toes, bring them forward and backward. No toe left behind. Squeeze 
Squeeze them, pull them forward, backward. Really getting into those arches. After this delicious moment of self-care, let's gently come to our back. Rolling down our spine and squeeze your knees to your chest. Your feet should feel fabulous. Let's release the lower back now. Just tilting back and forth, closing your eyes. If you want to bring your chin to your knees, go ahead. Pointing and flexing your toes. And let's transition into happy baby pose, or today, happy baby panda. If you'd like, you can rock back and forth, further relaxing the lower back and feeling those hips opening up once again. You can pull the feet toward the armpits, channel that baby panda within you. Maybe smile a little bit. That always helps with happy baby panda. Now let's come to our final twist. Extend the left leg, hug the right knee toward the chest, sink to the left side. You can gaze in the opposite direction if that feels good for your neck. Or you can look at the ceiling. Stay here for a couple more breaths. Feeling that lovely twist throughout your spine. Inhale and exhale. Gently lift your right knee up. Extend it and bring your left knee to your chest. And then twisting to the opposite side. melting into this final twist. Allow yourself to feel a deep sense of accomplishment for taking this time out for yourself, for doing yoga before bed. I acknowledge you for taking care of yourself. Now we're gonna get ready for our final pose. You can roll it out, roll out the hips a little bit. Swivel your feet open. Your palms are toward the ceiling. Maybe you wanna just release your head a little bit. Swivel your chin a little bit. Release your forehead. Your jaw. Release your neck. Shoulders are melting down. Your chest relaxes, your arms are relaxing, your wrists, your fingers, your palms. Your rib cage relaxes and your abdomen. Relax your lower back. Relax your hips, your glutes, relax your quads, your hamstrings, your knees, your calf muscles, and your ankles, feet and toes melt into the earth. Your entire body is relaxed.
thank yourself for this wonderful practice today and sink into your Shavasana. Stay here for as long as you want, relaxing your body even further. Thank you so much for joining me for this practice, and I'll see you next week. Namaste.